Hello, Uncle Lee. Surprise, surprise. I don't expect I will meet you here in London. Hello, Cooper. I'm also surprised to meet you here. How are you? Are you all right? I really miss you. You look really healthy now. Oh yes, Cooper. I miss you too. Are you coming back with your wife and Louis? No, I just come back alone for my business trip. But I'm planning to come back with them to settle in the future. Why? Because、uh, you like London? Certainly, yes. But it is not the main reason. I'm expecting Louis to learn more English. Why? It seems that you are not so patriotic. You are Hong Kong Chinese, and China economy is booming. Oh yes, I agree. But English is more important. Strange. Chinese should love their own country, and learning Chinese should be a priority. Yes, I agree. But bear this in mind: more than half of the world regards English as the official language, especially dealing with、uh, foreign trade, because English has become an international language. I have seen a young German and a young French talking to each other in English. The world has changed. Many countries has already assigned English language as the second language, and expecting the children to learn from the infant stage. Even in China, English is already a must in the educational system. Learning English becomes a fashion in China. Thousands and thousands of English schools established in China every month. And you will find English school everywhere in China. Oh really? I hope that I can visit China now. Well, I know many countries in Asia, such as Malaysia, Indonesia, use English as the base of pronunciation of their own language. With good English, we can pick up many languages easily. Ah yes. In China, they use English for Pinyin, a system of pronunciation of the Putonghua, the national language of China. They use Pinyin for typing out Chinese words. Ah,、uh, you know, in Europe, many university require the student to use English for the articles and general. In scientific research, ah, that's true. International aviation, seafaring, communication, and diplomacy has already dominated by English. A working knowledge of English has become a requirement in a number of fields, occupation, and professions such as medicine and computing.